In this video lecture, we will learn about Asherman syndrome. Asherman syndrome is fibrosis or adhesions of endometrium and may also include myometrium. This is a diagrammatic representation of a healthy uterus and what happens in Asherman syndrome. If you see, there are fibrous bands and adhesions in the endometrium and sometimes may include myometrium also. Let's move towards the pathogenesis of Asherman syndrome. What happens is there is destruction of large areas of endometrium which leads to fibrous healings and hence if we see histopathologically Asherman syndrome we will find bands of fibrous tissue along with endometrium and myometrium. Moving towards the causes of Asherman syndrome basically anything which will lead to destruction of large areas of endometrium. One of the most uh, you know, important causes and preventable causes is overzealous postpartum curettage. This is also one of the highest risk of getting the Asherman syndrome. It can also be seen in normal dilatation and curettage, missed abortion, high form mole, elective termination on pregnancy and in certain chronic infections like tuberculosis and schistosomiasis. It's also seen as a post-operative complications in caesarean section, septoplasty, metroplasty, abdominal myomectomy, and even in uterine artery embolization. Clinical features, mostly patients are asymptomatic, but they may present with menstrual diseases like amenorrhea or hypomenorrhea, infertility, early pregnancy loss, or even recurrent miscarriage. Recurrent miscarriage is one of the most common presenting features in cases of Asherman syndrome. Also, there can be, even if the pregnancy ensures, it is a complicated pregnancy, there can be cases of placenta acreata, placenta previa or even preterm pregnancy. The diagnosis on histosalpingography, that is the x-ray dye filling test, you can see the filling defects and the investigation of choice is direct, you know, visualization of the uterus by hysteroscopy. If we move to the management, Hysteroscopic lysis of adhesions is the management of choice. So, hysteroscopy can also, you know, be used for diagnosis as well as management. Post adhesion lysis, use of balloon catheter or IUCTs to keep the wall of endometrium separated. So, they do not form the fibrous bands again. And also, we use exogenous estrogen to promote re-epithelization of the endometrium. Now, the most important points which are from Asherman syndrome is the risk of Asherman syndrome is highest when DNC is done post, part, uh, post PPH. Also hysteroscopic lysis of addition is the management of choice and post surgery use of exogen estrogen promotes re-epithelization of endometrium. So these are the critical examination points. Let's look at some of the images. This is what uh, hysteroscopic finding in cases of Asherman syndrome, you can see fibrous bands. Oh, so this is fibrous bands. Uh, this is another case where it is much easier to you know appreciate the fibrous bands. This is a normal histosalpingogram. You see this is the uterus and these are the fallopian tubes very clearly visualized. But in cases of histosalpingogram um, of an Asherman syndrome, you can see the filling defects. The uterus is not uh, clearly de uh, you know, delineated. Moving forward, let us look at some of the, you know, hysteroscopic findings. So, can you guess? The first one is a normal endometrium. The uterus is, uh, uh, this is how a normal endometrium looks like. The second one is fibroid. Third one is polyp. You can notice the difference between a fibroid and a polyp. We'll get into the difference and in uh, some later lecture. But you can see this is very well delineated and uh, muscular kind of thing. And this is more uh, as a proliferation from endothelium. This is what an Asherman syndrome looks like. This is what a septate uterus will look like. There is no, there is a single band and there is no other bands, uh, fibrous bands seen. So this is the single septate uterus. You can see these are the openings into the upper part of the uterus. And this is what an unhealthy endometrium will look like and which will warrant a biopsy to be taken.